Hello from Myrtle Beach. Today we are at the Market Common. We're going to take you around and give you a tour of the restaurants here, show you what's best, and also we are here for the Taste of Market Common Food Festival where you buy some tickets and you go around and try samples of food from all 11 restaurants that cost from one to five dollars depending on the food. So we are super excited to try this. This is our first year doing this. It's not the first year they've had it, but it's our first year doing it. Hi, I'm Carmen, and if you're new here and you enjoy Myrtle Beach videos, you are in the right place. We cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, thanks so much for watching. Let's walk over here and check out the menu and how much the prices are. So like I said, that each ticket is gonna be $1, so three tickets would be $3. And these are also all the restaurants listed on the left that are represented. Lots of stuff that looks good. All right, so we have bought our tickets. We decided to get 18 tickets. And so you take this cool card, which has a map, and you go through the restaurants. And even if you don't eat anything, you get each restaurant to check this. And then you get entered into a drawing for like $250 of food gift cards for the restaurants here at the Market Common. So that is pretty cool. I think we'll be doing this each year. This is a neat event. Our first stop is Cold Stone Creamery. We are not getting any ice cream today, but we do want to get our checkbox. But I wanted to point out that it is one of the restaurants that is on this tour today. All right, we got our first check and it's a little ice cream cone. How cute is that? Also, I wanted to show this map better than I showed the first time. It's actually pretty cool. It actually shows you every store here at Market Common too, not just the restaurants. And it's nice, convenient, tiny size. Uh, although I will say it's kind of hard to read some of the names. All right, let's press on to the next food stop. I'm ready to eat some food. Next stop on our tour is Trevina. This is an Italian kitchen. We are gonna get our checkbox. We're now over to 810 Billiards and Bowling. If you didn't know, Market Common does have a full bowling alley, full size. And they actually have food out today too. So we're gonna check this out and get our little check mark. Ooh, looks good, sliders. You can definitely tell which ones are the most popular by the number of people over here at P.F. Chang's. There, it smells really good and they've got a lot of people here eating and getting in line to get the food and we are both getting something here too. All right, we've come over to Nacho Hippo because we're eating here next and they have some tables which is nice outside. And so here's what the lettuce wrap looks like and here's what the spring roll looks like. We're gonna give these a taste. They smell really amazing. Before we started eating, I went ahead and stopped over here. They got their little festive hippo out over there and a big crowd. This is definitely the best deal of the festival. The macho nachos, it's got chili, it's got queso, all kinds of stuff on it. And you can see the portion size compared to P.F. Chang's. Not knocking P.F. Chang's, just saying. Brian is gonna try the spring roll from P.F. Mmm, P.F. Chang's. What do you think? We have finished our food at Nacho Hippo and P.F. Chang's and I wanted to point out they've even got more seating over here on Faro Parkway. If you're not familiar with Market Common, it's right off Faro Parkway, which is really close to the airport. It's close to, it's the south end, close to the south end of Ocean Boulevard and also close to the Myrtle Beach State Park. If you know where that is, that's just a little further down the road from here. So it's handy to get to, and you can also get to it from the 17 bypass. Uh, Faro hits out on that end too, so that's another easy way to get here. And so, I don't know if you could hear Brian, but he enjoyed his spring roll. I definitely enjoyed my lettuce wrap. It was tasty, but I'm sorry the nachos were the clear winner there. They were so good, and it was big enough to be a meal all by itself. And to be fair, that was five tickets, whereas the spring roll was three and the lettuce wrap was three, but I still would say that the nachos were the clear winner there. And we love Nacho Hippo. I want to give a shout out to them. We've eaten both at the North Myrtle Beach location across from Barefoot Landing and also this location. And we have always enjoyed every meal we've had there. They are consistently good. And if you don't know, they're owned by the same group that owns the River City Cafe, which a lot of you have said is one of your favorite places to eat here. One of the newest locations here is the Sea Witch Cafe. We are excited to give them a try because they just opened last year here at the Market Common. Uh, we are going to get the crab cakes. Check out these specialty donuts. Those look really, really good. All right, here's what the crab cakes look like. They did say they have these inside both in a larger portion and a platter and a sandwich. So I bet that would be tasty by itself. So good. It looks like tons of crab inside. Yeah, it's good. 
Wow, it looks really good. So is this your winner so far from what you've had, by far? All right, so we would definitely recommend the Sea Witch Cafe based off of this. And it's exciting that we've got a new local shop here too. One thing that's nice about Market Common, if you've not been over here, we do have a tour of Market Common. All the stores, everything they have here is, it is beautifully laid out and it's really pretty place to walk around. And compared to a lot of outdoor shopping centers in this area, this one actually has a lot of shade giving trees, uh, not just palm trees, but actual shade trees. So it's kind of a good place if you wanna walk around when it's a little hot in the summer. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. The like helps us out a lot. Next up is Gordon Biersch. We're gonna try the garlic fries. So again, they have nice outdoor seating area. Also, they've got their menu posted outline, um, outside, so I'll go ahead and show that to you. They also have their menu online, so if you have trouble reading this, you can either freeze it or you could also check it out online. Let's head over and get the garlic fries. I can actually smell them already. I smell garlic, it smells so yummy. So there's a picture of their legendary garlic fries. These Gordon Biersch garlic fries look amazing. They smell amazing. And we also got some jalapeno ranch to dip them in. Brian is going in for the first fry. Oh no. How's it taste? Really spicy. Okay, I'll stay out of the sauce then. I'm not a spice person. Fries are really good. Yum, I love garlic. The Gordon Biersch fries were a win. Uh, they were, in my opinion, a little on the greasy side, but if you're having a beer there at the brewery, they would be the perfect accompaniment. So uh, I think we both enjoyed those. And they weren't too high ticket wise, so that, that was a bunch of fries for the value. We are now up to the Tupelo Honey Cafe. They've got banana pudding, fried green tomatoes, and honey dusted drumsticks. And we are going to get our check boxes on our little card. A little fun fact about Tupelo Honey is it is from Asheville, North Carolina, which is our home state. And we've actually eaten at the Tupelo Honey in Asheville. Next up on the food tour is the King Street Grill. I know you not, might not be able to see their sign, but it's right up there. They've got nice outdoor seating, indoor seating. Their food is looking very good. I'm going to show you their menu. That's another one that has the menu outside. Lots of stuff on the menu. We're now heading up what I jokingly refer to as sort of the back side of Market Common. It's not. It's storefronts just like the rest of it. But it's like a dentist and a yoga studio. There's very few actual stores and restaurants on this side. But apparently there are some because there's a couple of food uh, kiosks over here for the festival. We are now up to the Bubble Tea Bar, which is another new establishment here. And of course they've got a couple of bubble teas today. The next one is the Uncommon Chocolatier. Wow, fancy. They've got all kinds of sweets and treats. And this one does not have an outside booth. You come inside uh, to buy what you want with your tickets. But wow, what a great selection. I would say overall we really enjoyed this festival. Definitely come down here to Market Common and check out some of the restaurants. There are so many great offerings and it's off the beaten path of the regular rest of Myrtle Beach so you're kind of out of the crowds. I know this looks like a lot of people but it's just because of the festival. Normally it is not too crowded here so a great place to come. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching until our next adventure.